It's now 722. Jim Albrecht back with more sports on this Friday morning. Nice day out there. Bob Mullen has landed an All-Stater to fill a Loris basketball uniform next year. The All-Stater's name is Troy Cicero, a 6'2 guard from Windsor, Connecticut. Cicero, who averaged 23 points a game and 12 rebounds in his senior year at Windsor High School, had some other schools on his shopping list before he decided on Loris. Um, Southern Connecticut, and that's in New Haven, Connecticut. Um, Hampton Institute in Virginia and Virginia State in Virginia. Troy, who will be playing this weekend with the Massachusetts All-Stars against the state of New York's best, feels that the people here were responsible for his choice. The main thing that attracted me here is the, um, the nice the nice people here at Lawrence, you know, They're really nice. That is Troy Cicero, who Coach Bob Mullen says is one of the finest passers he has ever had. He'll be flashing that talent in Dubuque next season. The pros walked away empty-handed yesterday, and at least four college coaches have reason to smile this morning. Mark Aguirre of DePaul put the rumors to rest about his stepping into the NBA next year. Mark's decision came down to the heart and not the wallet. I've decided that I have a love for more than money. I think that I have a love for Coach Ray Meyer and my players here at DePaul more than I feel for the pro league, and I think that I'll enjoy wearing the Paul uniform next year. And Coach Ray Meyer was happy for the player and the coach. I was very concerned last few days. Uh, I saw Mark, and I knew he had the weight of the world on his shoulders. He was not himself. He hasn't been himself for quite a while. And it's been a, it's been a very weighty decision for a young 20-year-old youngster to make. That is Ray Meyer. Ralph Sampson found the Boston Celtics knocking on his door again yesterday, but his answer was the same. I'll stay at Virginia, thank you. Red Arbach had to admit that life will go on at the Garden. And reports yesterday had Maryland star Albert King leaving school for the big time, but now his coach is saying that's not the case. Lefty Drizel thinks King will just up his price tag by sticking around one more year. I think he will, he will help the NBA more because he's going to be one of the most highly publicized players in the country next year, if not the most highly publicized. And, and his name will draw more people at the gate and enable him to demand more money next year than he, than he did this year. That's lefty Drizel. Iona's Jeff Rulin also said he'll stay put, so that final score again yesterday, college four, NBA, nothing. After a slow start, the L.A. Dodgers are in high gear now. They made it five wins in a row last night with a 5-2, 10-inning victory over San Francisco. Dusty Baker won the game with a three-run homer. I was looking for a ball I could drive, and I was trying to keep the ball off the ground. You know, stay out of double play. All night I'd been out front. I tucked my shoulder, Manny Modis is cool down, cool down. Danny Ozark gave me the, you know, the cool out sign. Just, just be cool and relax, and that's what I did. That's Dusty Baker. In the only other National League contest, Brian Asselstein singled home the winning run in the bottom of the ninth to give Atlanta an 8-7 victory over San Diego. Braves now are hot. They've won three in a row. 